Q and A time. Let's um, get these questions opened. Okay. So, first question is from Jack underscore Oburn. Oburn. Can I muzz? Um, I actually looked up this muzz thing last night, and it's just random dancing. I mean, it's like, I don't think, from what I saw, it's just random dancing. Um, yes, I can muzz, I guess. Well, we'll go with that. I mean, I'd never heard of it until this, until this kid, like, asked me. I have no clue where it is. But yes, I guess I can. Um, next question. Super... Super... O underscore O man, can you flare whip? Um, I've never tried, but I'm sure I could probably get it within probably 10 tries. Um, but as of now, no. Um, Kyle, M, Kyle M underscore 2004 asked, can you whip umbrella? Yes, I can. I can whip umbrella fly out and I can whip umbrella air. Um, Julian, one of my good friends, Julian, um, go follow him at Julian underscore you underscore underscore savage. Um, how did you get into scootering? Um, well, okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a good one. Um, when I was about probably five or six, um, I first started riding like just a little razor kick scooter. I mean, one of the foldable ones. Um, and me and my brother would like do tricks off home built ramps like we would take a big old block of wood that was probably like this high and then like maybe stack them uh, to make the jump bigger and then put a board um, on, up onto it and jump off and do like tail whips and stuff like that um, but that's how I really got into it I got into it as, at a young age um, I got my first pro scooter um, back in 2012 or 13, somewhere in there, um, and I got a Grit Mayhem. It was the one with the really weird, like, Y bars with the, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, but that was my first pro scooter. Um, well, actually, I did have a Razor Ultra Pro, so <laughs> I guess that counts. Um, but yeah, that's how I got into it, and then I quit, um, probably a year after I got that scooter, and then... Um, I just got back into it last July, so it's February right now, or March actually. So eight months ago, somewhere in there. Um, okay, uh, next question. T Ben Exit asked, why Booterin, not BMX or skating? Um, well, I mean, I've rode skateboards, bikes, and scooters my whole life, and scooters are just hand down, hands down my favorite. I mean, I like bikes too, and skateboards, um, but I think skateboarders are just too disrespectful for me, honestly, um, to put it into nice words, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, plus it just feels better to ride a scooter than to skateboard or ride a bike. Um, plus I progressed a lot faster on a scooter than I would a bike or a skateboard. And it's a lot more technical. Um, I mean, flipping the scooter around, like, because I ride park myself, um, flipping the scooter around, I, I like doing that stuff. Um, Tyler.Campbell2 asked, why do you ride for SoulFlow? Um, I ride, so I am sponsored. Yes, I'm sponsored by SoulFlow Co. Um, it is our local shop here in Springfield, Eugene area. Um, and I ride for them because one, Kim is a great manager. She hooks me up with everything, everything I need. Like when I got my scooter stolen, I was instantly, the day my scooter got stolen, I was instantly given a new setup. Um, and it's, I mean, part of that setup is what I'm riding right now, but um, she, She's amazing, like, hands down. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to ride for anybody else, like, as far as shop-wise. Um, yeah, I mean, it. it's just a great atmosphere to be in, and the team, uh, 
Justin, Seth, Matt, Cody. I mean, everybody that scooters on the team. I mean, e even the bikers and the skaters that are on our team are really cool. Um, but, I mean, just the whole environment is great, honestly. Next question is uh, Kenyon asked me, why are your bars so short? Um, actually, my bars are not short. I have Envy Union bars, which are almost 26 high. And I mean, that's that's pretty high for a park setup, honestly. But I mean, I'm six foot tall. So I mean, I need taller bars to compensate. I mean, I'm not gonna hunch over and ride a short pair of bars or I'm not gonna like have them up here and ride like a 28 tall. Cause I mean, that's just not my style. Where they're at is where they're comfortable. Um, but yeah, they're really not that short. I mean, if your average scooter rider would to step on and be like, they'd be like, oh dang, these are actually kind of tall. Um, next question, Justin Grinstead, he's actually on our team. Why do you shred so hard? I shred the nard, bro. I kill the streets. Shout out to AO. Um, next question, mm underscore two, three, five, five, six asked if you could do any trick on the nitro ramp what would it be um i think i actually thought about this earlier because i saw it and i think i would do if there was any trick that i would like if i could do any trick in the world it would be a double backflip inward or double backflip front bry um for all the new era kids it's actually called an inward thank you very much um Next question, it's underscore Griff asked, when will you quit YouTube? This is like my second legitimate video and I haven't really like technically started, so I don't know, we'll see. And my good friend Caleb <laughs> asked, single if ya holla at me. I got you, Caleb. All right. Those, that is the end of the questions. So now I'm just gonna eat first. Right now I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna go to the park and then get the call on the shots going. Um, I had a bunch of people call me tricks on my Instagram. And then, so that's where we're going next. See you there. All right, I don't know if you can see my face, but we're here. Um, I wanna go get warmed up real quick. Looks like there's a few scooter kids here. I think I know both of them or all of them, um, and I'm going to have them film me doing the call on the shots, um, but yeah, I'm going to go get warmed up real quick, and then I'll see you in just a second. Alright, I'm warmed up a little bit, um, now I'm going to get this uh, call on the shots going. So first thing I'm going to do is the three bar bar recommended by Justin. Um, all the other kids think I'm professional and can do huge tricks, no, that's not the case. But yeah, I'm gonna first attempt at a three bar bar. You. All right, so that was second try, double truck or three bar bar, whatever you want to call it. Um, next trick is whip Superman, so that's what I'm gonna do next. You. All right, landed that whip Superman second try. Um, next trick is called by Justin, which is a front three switch bar. So basically oppo truck driver. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next for attempt. If I can't get that, then I'm going to do a heel bar because that's always a trick that I've wanted to do. Alright, didn't land the front truck or front three oppo bar, but I did land the heel bar. Um, you mean you landed the heel bar, but not the front truck? That's what I just said. Uh, Why are you trying to get in on this? Back here. What's up, dude? Little kids. Okay. Um, so now I'm not going to do a bar heel. I'll do a three double whip, though, and then maybe a quad. So those are the next two. Alright, next trick is tuck no hander to bar. So that one should be pretty simple. Hopefully I can land it. Hi, can I get something with us? Huh? Um, next trip 
trick is a uh, finger whip and then a kickless bride. So, I mean, kickless bride is going to be hard because I've never landed one of those. Uh, but finger whip, easy step. All right, no way I'm going to land that uh, kickless bride, not without a hundred tries. Um, next one is three bride inward. Uh, I'll see if I can get the three bride. Never been good at three brides or brides in general, but I'll try. All right, so that's it for the calling the shots for me. Sorry, it's loud in here. I don't know if you guys can even hear me. Um, if you can't, then I'll just put captions down below. Other than other than that, I'm gonna get one more line for you guys, and that's it. So I didn't film an outro for that video yesterday, um, but one thing I do want to say is that wall, or not the wall, but the bowl in the last clip where I do the big air to T-bog, Tuckmo, and then bar on the other side, um, that is a huge bowl. I mean, that thing's like 10 to 11 feet over coping, so I mean, that's, that's not easy stuff. I mean... Those air tricks are easy, but when you're doing it out of something that big, it makes it that much harder. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I will have another video coming out as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching again, and like and subscribe.